welcome to my nightmare. Hey, what's up you guys? It's the fabulous one, Zen Lim with Gilles with another video and I'm here to make a quick video because um because of something that happened recently, well just a few minutes ago on um Twitter. Um there was a lady who had been following me for like a f um, about a couple of months now, you know, because I realized she was from that Facebook group that I used to be a part of like years ago because I liked her uh, her witty pictures and captions and things like that. But um, uh, she just now unfollowed me because of the fact that um, she didn't like the fact that I didn't defend my mother. Um, or uh, you know, allegedly didn't defend my mother from being disrespected by a man in my family, and she was like, "Well, I'm gonna mute and unfollow, so I won't have to some domestic." Well, that was stuff she was saying. I didn't really read it because I just went to her profile immediately. It just blocked her because any other time when I was posting like positive stuff, fun stuff on my timeline, she did not comment, did not like it or anything like that but when I start venting is when she want to come out and speak about something and I was just mainly talking about how I didn't like the fact that the men in the family were disrespecting my mother which I don't like I don't like it at all but I don't I told her that I don't get involved because of the fact that they're all gonna pile on top of me including my mother because I've you know tried to defend her in the past and it ended up getting bitten in the ass because that's what happens when you know you you try to defend other black people they just uh jump right on you and you're the bad guy so i just you know said like a year ago that i'm just gonna stay out of all the um drama and just observe and you know i'm gonna comment about it from the sidelines but i'm not gonna put myself in it because i have enough to lose on my end that i'm not trying to get involved in no type of drama and so i guess she didn't like it because um i noticed that she's always talking about um black women going online and venting about their mothers and having you know bad experiences with their mothers and first of all you know I don't agree with the fact that these women are showing their faces that's the only thing I got a problem with it and I don't like the fact that they put their names out there you know for their families to identify them and then again that's going to cause unnecessary conflict but I don't have a problem with them talking about their bad experiences with their mothers because unfortunately there are a lot of bad mothers out there and I think that the fact that I feel like she's trying to silence these women by saying that they shouldn't talk about their mother they should move out and all this stuff I hope that wasn't directed at me because the house that I'm living in is my house it's not in my mother's name it's in, it's in my name it's, this is my house so that doesn't apply to me and like I said, um, that's not your story to tell, you know, you know, to tell these women that they can't speak about what's going on with whatever's going on in their life, you know, feel free to, you know, vent or whatever. So I told her, she was like, well, you posted stuff on public and I'm going to comment. I'm like, what's with, the, and I said it in the um, tweet about the family member, like, what's with the condescension? Like, why are you being condescending? I mean, you're an older woman. I would expect you to be mature, but I guess you're not because of the fact that you just you cowered and ran away. I'm like, because she thought she was gonna. It's like just like many older women, they think that they can just bully me because of my age. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not gonna back down from you. I'm gonna say whatever I say. Just you got a response for me, and I got a response right back. And unfortunately, she couldn't take it, so she ran, ran it, tucked her tail, and you know, blocked me or whatever. But I don't care. Because um, I didn't learn my lesson like from years ago because I've always had issues with uh, black people from California. I do not like California black people at all. I think they're the most stuck up, snobby, whitewashes people I've ever, ever, you know, interacted with. Because they, I noticed that, um, that what people talk about online about them, they're very, they very anti-black too. I've, I've, know, I've picked up on that f from years ago. Cause I vented to this older black woman back in 2004 
about you know some problems that were going on at the house you know kind of similar to the situation with this lady and she wrote me like a long email I mean she like talked really really bad about me said I'm not even gonna repeat the things she said and again she didn't know me and I confided in this woman thinking that she was my friend you know and this is like one of the reasons why I don't I don't talk to older women particularly black women because these women are still like feeling like they have to compete with younger women and a lot of them still are because it's I, I don't even know how to explain it right now but if I had uh, really thought of you know had thought this out I wouldn't be able to explain it but it's like it's weird and one of the things I told Creole Bello is that an 8 year old and an 80 year old black girl black women are talking about the same thing they act the same way very immature very childish and most of all they like to have this this mentality that they can just treat other black women any kind of way regardless you know if you're not kissing their asses and things like that all of a sudden they feel like they can bully you talk down to you and all that other crap and, and this is why I don't interact with black women in my personal life other than my family members who I you know in some ways cut off I just just be me and my mom because of the fact that they like to you know talk down to me and things like that I can't have my opinion I can't say what I want to say because again they gonna try and pile on top of me and I'm like okay well tell you what I'm gonna stay away from you guys which is what I have been doing I, when black women talk to me I just say very few words to them and just let them walk off because I just I don't want anything to do with them anymore just like these women want to talk about divesting from black men or whatever uh, I've already divested from them and they, well there's nothing to divest for because they weren't in the picture to begin with uh, then years ago with that friend that demon but in my personal life I don't interact with black men like period other than a few family members and um and and that's what I feel about um, black women as well I don't interact with them I don't I've divested from them because after what happened at my last job I was like pretty much done I don't want to talk to you I don't want you around me I don't want anything to do with you because you bring all this toxic energy around me for no reason being a bitch to me for no reason it don't matter how old or young but mainly be the uh, old ones because I guess they feel like because I'm older uh, you have to respect me no respect is earned anybody deserves respect age though doesn't have anything to do with it because there are people out there that are younger than me that have experienced things that I haven't experienced like I've never seen somebody get shot or anything like that and there are people younger than me who have seen people get shot have seen people get murdered and things like that I haven't experienced that so by that logic well should they uh, d d deserve more uh, respect than me like because I'm older and I haven't experienced it so it's a lot of crap going on especially with this um, particular group that's on YouTube where these women are talking about you need to pay homage to me I'm one of the OGs and all that crap um, I this is um, like this is a testament to why I think a lot of women new women on the scene are not paying homage to these women because of the fact that a lot of them are quite disrespectful and condescending when they talk it to you like you owe me well I tell you like this you probably should have gotten paid for this if you were really the OG or whatever and yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about this I just think that's um she was being very disrespectful towards me and like I said, I held my I held my ground because I'm I'm tired of being I'm tired of being talked down to by black women. Like, why are you talking down to me? Like I'm a damn kid. I'm not even that. I, you don't even know how old I am. <laughs> Shit, I'm not. We could not. We probably up in age somewhere. I don't. Everybody know I'm young, but <laughs> I'm not that young. I'm actually older. And I just didn't appreciate the fact that she was talking to me like that. But I held my own, just like I did against my um my boss, who was like what ten years older than me ask her how I am I don't I don't I don't back down ask some other managers at my last job I don't back down at all because that's not how you treat people 
you know, I went out of my way to support you, you know, I'm read your tweets and I'm thinking, oh, well, she probably not going to treat me like, you know, other black women do. But unfortunately, that that always gets me um, bitten the ass when I find out the hard way about these women that um, hold up, hold up a second, guys. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm gonna um uh, hop off the computer right now and just uh focus on other things more important and more important people. But yeah, just because somebody's older doesn't mean they deserve your respect because a lot of these people got issues and they probably had issues stemming from their childhood and and it's probably the fact that uh it's probably borderline anti black like a lot of black people have where they just talk to you any kind of damn way but as soon as a white person well a white person has done more for me a white person has done this da, 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 you know you like i said on my twitter that she did that same on the, the tweet that i had from like a week ago or so where i talked about these black women are being rude for no damn reason and she was quick to respond because you know i'm talking about another black woman because it's quick to we quick to jump on things where we're talking bad about our so-called, well, not my own, because I, I identify as black foot in Choctaw and French. But if we talk, in well, that same too, what I talked about, um, I deal with racism. She had nothing to say. So, <laughs> yeah, typical Californian, of course. Maybe I'll make a better video next time. But for now, I'm going to hop off of this computer because it's gotten really, really hot. And I don't want to overheat it or anything like that. So, um... Anywho, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Feel free to comment, share, hit a donation, and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your week. See ya. Au revoir.